everybody welcome back i hope that you're doing well i'm gonna be doing kind of an everyday face uh, something more neutral i know the last few videos or last couple videos that i did i did like bolder brighter looks with green with um blue with purple so today i'm going to be using this Too faced salted caramel palette and the colors are very pretty they're like a warm uh, excuse me a cool neutral and this is a perfect tra uh, travel palette because it fits like in any bag now the star of the show <laughs> is going to be the infallible fresh wear 24 hour not that i would ever wear makeup for 24 hours foundation in powder by l'oreal now most of the time i use foundations that are high end but l'oreal is a good drugstore brand and this has been really popular all over social media so i thought i would give this a try but first i'm going to put a little bit of lip balm on There we go and now I'm going to be using um, a elf makeup sponge it does come in a compact with a mirror that I won't show and then a little sponge but I really don't like the quality of these so just leave it in there and let's get started now I'm not going to put my concealer on till after I put my foundation on normally um, with a powder foundation I find that I like to put my concealer on first but with this one I found it worked better putting concealer on concealer on afterwards I should have tied back my hair but it's okay it's not while today straightened it out and as you can see this is really good coverage and I just kind of like pounce it in here and you can go like this to get like a fuller coverage and I like to go like this too go around the nose a little bit and I'm using you for a mirror for now well I'm using the camera not you I don't want to put a little bit on my eyelids now before I applied this, I did my skincare and the most important besides cleansing is to put my SPF on and this is the CeraVe AM Lotion with uh, SPF 30. Now I think just like going over, that gave really good coverage, but I'm going to go back and see if I can cover up this little scar I have. And I tend to get really red on my chin. And wearing this all day yesterday, I found that my skin did not feel dry. I think if you do have dry skin, I have like combo sensitive where my face will get dry like in the cheeks and it'll get a little tiny bit oily in the T-zone. But if you have very dry skin, I would really load up on the um, moisturizer and wait maybe about 15 minutes. This would be perfect for like normal, normal dry combo. I'm just checking the mirror behind my camera. I like that coverage, it's really nice. And as it wears, it's the coverage just, it kind of melts into your skin and it looks even more natural. Now let's put some concealer. I'm gonna use the Fit, Me, Fit Me by Maybelline, if I could speak. I'm just gonna put a little there where I get very dark in the corner and just a little here and because when we go out we wear masks I'm just going to leave that because it's mostly covered then I'm going to take a brush because I've been enjoying using my concealer or blending my concealer with a brush and this is one by It Cosmetics it's very fluffy and uh, yet it's kind of, it's fluffy but stiff and it moves just the right amount and i'm just going to tap that and actually i'm going to take my little compact for this so i can see closer i'm tapping that i used to be guilty of putting like a ton of concealer under my eyes but i think as we get older we start to age most of us start to age in our eye area or 
on our eye area, or not the actual eye, you know, the skin underneath. <laughs> and so I have been making a conscious effort not to put a ton, but I do want to put a little tiny bit more in the corners. Maybelline is really, this Fit Me, I should say, is a really good uh, drugstore product. Uh, and it, it works so good, the Fit Me con uh, Concealer. I cannot speak today. Uh, the Fit Me Concealer works really good with every foundation that I've used from high-end to drugstore brands. Which, like I said, I honestly don't use a lot of the drugstore brands' uh, foundations. Um, and mostly for the other parts like cheeks and stuff, I do use like higher end. But once in a while I like to try a product, especially when it's it's so hyped like that. Okay, so I've got my concealer, perfect. And now I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Bronze and Glow Palette. And this I picked up at Sephora. And I'm gonna put a little bit of warmth into my face and I always start like right here. And even though this is not a contour, contour is a is a much different color. I sort of bronze tour. <laughs> so I kind of contour with my brown bronzer, yet I'm putting it like here and here. Everywhere the sun hits my face is where I put it. And as you can see, it's already bronzed up my face. And I'm gonna put a little bit here because I have a little bit chubby face from my uh steroids in my inhaler but taking it twice a day and whenever I need it helps my asthma so I'll put up with the chubby face a little bit more there I always go back and check a little bit I'm really kind of putting a lot on today but I like it especially in the summertime I don't get much sun on my face, so I try to, you know, kind of compensate with a little bronzer. Now I'm going to put a little bit of cream blush, and that's what I really liked about this foundation too, is that it plays well with creams. A lot of times when you use part of powder foundation, I've got to learn to say that, the, um, and you try to put a cream product on, it sort of like, it skips. And with this one, I did not find that. Find that. I have two ones by Fenty Beauty, and I think I'm going to go with the Petal Pop. It's a really pretty kind of pinky coral. I think it'll go good with the look. And I just take like a finger, and I just kind of feel for my um, cheekbone, and then I go up. Give it a little bit of a lift. Yeah, I also like how this powder foundation doesn't feel drying. So I can't I can't stand that when when you put a powder foundation and it's like you gotta right away set it with something wet. This just feels really good on my face. Now let's do a little bit of work on the eyes with the salted caramel palette. I'm going to lay down this, uh, like, well, you can see my vanity there. <laughs> I'm going to lay down this color, which is like a, um, if you remember the colors from MAC, sort of like a brulee, a, like, like a vanilla beige, highlighting the brow bone, and just kind of going all over it, all over the lid, I should say. And I filled in my eyebrows before this video because it takes a little time. I do have naturally thick eyebrows, but I'm starting to get a little sparse in different areas. So I like to just go over them. And I'll talk about my favorite brow product. I think I'm gonna do an April favorites, even though we're in the middle of the month, I'm still gonna do that. All right, now I'm going to put a little bit of definition in my eye. On my eyelid, I say keep saying eye. I'm going to use this color. I wish they were named, but they're oh, they're named on the back. Okay, so that really light color was called. Well, it's 
cut like backwards. It's so weird. I can't tell you. It's hard to read. Well, I'm going to take this one. It's like a, like a, sort of like a pumpkin color, brownie pumpkin. Tap that off. And I'm going to go like right with the crease. And I'm keeping my eye open because I want that color to show. If I, if I go like this, I'm, I might put it lower. And for my eye shape, that would cover it. So I leave the eye open. Blend that in. And it might seem like a lot to some people who don't wear makeup, but this is really easy. Just practice. You could start with very light colors if you're not used to something bold. And for me, this is like an everyday look. Now I want to put like a sort of a highlighty color on the movable lid, which is the bottom part. So I'm going to use this really pretty, it's, it's like a lavender, you might say lavender or pumpkin, but it goes really nice. Get that off. And I better get a smear and I'm putting it right there on the movable lid. Like that. Then I'm going to go back with that real light color, this one, and just kind of blend out the edges of that pumpkin-y brown color. See? And then I'm going to go back with the movable lid color and put a little bit more on there. I'm going to show you a trick and I'm going to do it. Um, you can use a, like a setting spray. I have this one by NYX and I have another one by the company Maven Beauty. I'll use the NYX one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush that's like this. So it's flat and it's angled. And I'm going to use a color in this palette as an eyeliner. Now you can just go right in and line the line, but if you wet this, the liner stays longer and it's a little darker. So let's put a little bit of that in there. Don't soak it too much. And I'm going to pick one of these darker colors. And I think I will go with this one, which is like a uh, reddish brown. And I'm just going right, it's kind of hard to show you on here, but right like that, picking it up. And you don't have to worry about using it again with another brush because I eyeshadow palettes dry pretty fast. Then I'm going to take it like this end and I'm going to go right along my lash line. Now, as you see, I made a mistake. I picked a color that was too light. It blends right in with my crease shade. So what I'm gonna do, because you can do it, it's very simple. I'm gonna just wet that tip of that brush again. And I'm gonna go in with this dark, it's like a red, ready purple color. And I'm going to go, I'm trying to show you the best way I can. I'm gonna go like this, pick it up. The, the larger angle outward there we go and then I'm I kind of twist it around for my comfort you can do it whatever way you want and that makes a really pretty eyeliner going back to get a little more color to go closer to the lash line And because I didn't bring any other sponges, I'm just cleaning that up right there. That makes for a pretty line. And it will last a long time, just like a liquid or a pencil. And it's nice, it's a nice trick to know if you are traveling and you forgot an eyeliner and you really like eyeliner and you don't want to go to the store to pick one up use your palette and you can just rinse 
your brush under uh, the sink in the hotel or wherever you're staying. You don't necessarily, necessarily have to um, spray it. Now I like the way this one came out better, but that always happens to me. So I'm going to wet it a little bit more. Go back into that dark purple red. Here we go. I think I just didn't have the brush wet as wet as I did the first time. And there. Now we're gonna do one more thing with the eye. Well, two more things with the eyes. I like to put a little color down in my lower lash line sometimes. And I'm going to use this pencil brush. And it's a pencil brush because it's shaped like round and it's easy to go on your, to make a liner. Make a liner? Please forgive me the way I'm speaking today. I'm gonna go in, I think, I'm gonna try this like kind of sparkly red brown and just pick it up, tap it in there, tap off, and then I'm gonna go lightly just past the middle of my eye, not going all the way. Sorry that this is covering. Pick it up a little bit. And I'm going to take this little sponge. And clean that up. Great. Now we're going to curl the lashes. Now I use this one because the other one is so shiny. Kind of talking to myself as I talk to you. it a couple times it's funny the faces we make when we put makeup on now I'm gonna go in with this essence lash princess false lash effect and this is the regular I do not like the waterproof it smudges which is kind of crazy to me well this one doesn't and I'm gonna put a couple coats and I got a little bit on my eye uh, shadow, on my eye, but we'll fix that up. Kind of let it dry off a little bit and then I just, will use something to take it off. It happens. I don't freak out about accidents when I'm doing makeup because I can just go over it. Take it off and redo it. This is a pretty drugstore make um, brand too. I haven't tried much of their things, but I really like their mascara and it's so cheap. I think it's like $5.99 US dollars. And you can find this at Ulta or online. I will post links down below like I usually do or have been trying. If you're interested in purchasing any of the products I'm using. Now I'm not going to do the bottom lash line, just don't feel like it. And a lot of times I save that for, you know, like the evening or something, getting sweaty with the light. And I just kind of check all over. I got a little smudge of mascara right there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take some makeup remover on a cotton round and I will lightly press it, I got it off, and then I got a little here, and that one took it off, and then I'm just going to go back with the powder compact, just kind of go like that, So that is an everyday look for me that I created using the Salted Caramel Palette and showing you the infallible 24 hour fresh wear. Uh, really, I'm impressed with this. Like I said, 
truth be told, this is only the second time that I'm using this, but sometimes you just know when you like something. And for reference, my color is 130, uh, I think this is called just beige or true beige. True beige. So let's put a little bit of lipstick. This is a Fenty lipstick and it's in the color upside down retro rose and it's one of their kind of like um not a full-on lipstick but like a balmy and i never used to like colors like this but lately for every day or just kind of kicking around if i want a little lipstick on I'm enjoying it. It's glossy. It's very comfortable. Now, most of these type of glosses don't last a long time, but I always just stick it in my purse and or keep it wherever I am. So I hope you enjoy this and that you're doing well. I thank you so much for watching this video. And if you could please, uh, there's a red button. I think it's over there or over there. If you could click that to subscribe, that really helps me. Um, I don't do this for money. I do it to share what I love and to have a little fun. But the more people that subscribe or give me the thumbs up, um, my channel will get like on the... Um, I forget the techno technical term, but my videos will be shown more to more people and I'll be able to share what I know and love and uh, make more friends. So take care of yourselves and I hope that you're doing well. And to a very special friend, you know who I'm talking about. I am sending you hugs from Florida and I hope that you're having a good day. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.